right, guys, I'm going to give just a few minutes and see if anybody hops on. I'm running a little bit behind. Um, I did give you fair warning I would be running behind. I'm always running behind. If you haven't met me yet, then you should realize very quickly here that I'm usually running behind. <clears throat> so I'm just getting this up so I can see your comments. And um, make sure you guys can see everything. Looks like we're good. Um, if you're looking at this in the top left, you should see the graphic that we posted before that has the parts list. And I will go over that some more with you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sit down so that you can see me because the screen is not tall enough for you to see me and the table if I'm standing up. So I'm going to give it just another minute, see if anyone hops on. Um, I probably should have tagged Katie. Sorry, Katie. Um, make sure I'm muted so you don't hear my feedback. Okay, so we should be good. Um, feel free to say something if you hop on so I know that you guys are on. Um, so in the top left is the parts list. Um, I don't think I can adjust it to make it any, well, you know what I can do? I can go to just that being primary, let's see. So there's the parts list. Um, just so you can take a peek at it if you didn't see it in the post before. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is switch our view here. Um, with a split screen for the moment. Um, so that you can see me and also see this parts list. Hopefully that's gonna work for you guys. So you can see the parts list and see what we're doing. So I'm gonna start by going through that parts list just in case. Um, so we talk about, the first thing I say is four slip caps. So when I'm saying that, oh, and before I back up to that, let me back up. I am building using three quarter inch PVC. If you prefer half inch PVC for some reason, or your arms that you already have are half inch arms, feel free to use half inch PVC instead and simplify it for yourself. But if you use our arms or you're making your arms, the three quarter inch just is a little bit sturdier when you're putting a football on it or a noodle on it. With the noodles, the noodles tend to fit the three quarter inch better if you're using the jumbo noodles. Um, if you're using the skinny pool noodles, then I think the half inch fits better, but that's personal preference on all that. So whatever, diameter of PVC you're using, use the same size of these fittings that we talk about in this parts list. So, um, and also just a note to remember, when we talk about your diameter of PVC, it's your inner diameter of this piece of PVC. So this is three quarter inch PVC, but if I were to take a measuring tape to it, you are gonna see that it appears to be more like almost one and an eighth, right? But the inner diameter is what's three quarter inches. So just keep that in mind if you're like, I don't know what length my PVC is. The number is the inner diameter, not the outer. So that may help you if you're trying to determine what PVC you have. So we said um, you need 14 inches of PVC, which this is 14 inches. I've already marked my measurements on it. So we'll cut that in a few minutes. Um, the second thing I used, I said in the list, was PVC caps, and I specified slip caps. So these are slip caps, and what that means is they don't have threading on the inside. They're just gonna slip right on. If you wanna use the threaded, you could. They're just more expensive, and then you have to manually thread each of those cuts. So you wanna get the slip cap PVC and you're gonna need four of those caps in the diameter you're using. So in this case, three quarter inch. The next thing you need is four, I call them PVC T's. And if you go to most 
hardware stores, they have them as T's as well. You want to make sure that you're getting all three sides the same diameter, so they will have some that are like three quarter, three quarter, half. You want all three quarter, if you're doing it all in three quarter, um, and you want two lengths of, you want them all to be all three of whatever you're using, preferably. And you want to make sure, again, that all three are slip and none of them are threaded. Um, and you'll need four of those. So you can use the threaded, but again, then you have to thread each individual piece. So it's just something for you to keep in mind. Um, the last thing I put on the list was a set of PVC cutters or a saw. So some people just cut their PVC with a like standard basic saw, and that's fine. If you do, great. Um, these are made by a whole bunch of different people. These are Huskies because that's what Home Depot has, but plenty of other companies make them. Hardware stores have them. Um, I want to say they're like $10, but they cut through it so much more easily than sitting here sawing it, especially when we're doing some of these little pieces. So cool tool to have, especially if you plan on doing anything else with PVC. And I think they go up to... I think your basic one will cut up to one and a quarter inch PVC, so you're good. Like, you're not going to need anything more. So just to recap, we have four of the caps, four of the T's, and our cutter, and then we have 14 inches of PVC, and I'm using three quarter inch for the whole thing. Um, I've already marked off my measurements to cut it, but your measurements are going to be, and I will put this in the comments as well, you're going to need one three-inch piece, four two-inch pieces, and two one-and-a-half-inch pieces. So let me put that in the comments right now since I didn't have that in the parts list. Three-inch piece, then you'll need four of them at two inches, and two of them at one and a half inches. Um, so I went ahead and marked it on here and we're just gonna cut those real quick and then we will be getting it put together. So just in case you've never used these PVC cutters and you're curious, I think they're fantastic. So I've already marked it. I don't know if you guys can see that now that we're in like picture in picture mode, but um, I've already marked it. So I'm gonna take it, let me come over there so you can see it. And I'm going to basically line up my cutter to my mark. And so I'm just going to go click it tight until it's touching and make sure I'm on my Sharpie mark. And then you just keep clicking it. And in this case, I'm getting one that's starting to bend a little bit. There it goes. Trying to do this one handed, which is very odd. There we go. So it just cuts that easy. So that was my three inch piece. I also, when I measure my pieces, since I measure them all at once, I go ahead and label them all. Um, because as some of you know, I'm doing these in mass. So I have these baskets over there that have some of my extra pieces in them. Um, if I have just a couple extra inches or something, at the end of a piece of PVC, I will go ahead and cut whatever pieces fit out of that piece and label them. So again, I'm just lining it up, give or take. It doesn't have to be that exact. It's not going to, you know, be part of making it level or anything like that. Um, and if you're using non, whoa, sorry about that, non-schedule 40, so Schedule 40 PVC has like a 400 PSI. This one has like 280. It's perfectly adequate for what we're doing. But when you start to squeeze it, you see how it's starting to bend and flatten a little bit? So you just want to slow it down. You just want to go, let me see if I can get this so it's angled so you can see me better. There we go. See how it's flattening right there? So instead of just hard cutting straight through it, I'm going to kind of slow it down and just sort of inch until I feel it kind of break through that resistance and then I can keep clicking. And I'm done. 
Does that make sense? So I'm going to go ahead and hop back over here. Keep in mind, if you're watching the live, that we have about a... Um, about a minute delay because I'm using Switcher Studio. So um, just keep that in mind. So anyway, I am gonna just keep cutting these real quick. And like I said, they're all labeled. Um, so if anybody has any questions, now is a good time to ask. And I think what I'll do is probably go ahead and take this picture and picture off here in a minute so you guys can get a better view. All right, whoops, there we go. All right, so again, I've got it where it's just kind of bending a little bit. So I'm just gonna go slow and not let it click until I feel that it's already started to cut and then I'll click it. So again, those um, measurements, since they weren't on that original are four, they're in the comments and I'll make sure they're in the final, but they're four pieces at two inches long. There we go. And one three inch piece and two one and a half inch pieces. So you're at 14 inches to do this as we do it tonight. Um, I say that because there's plenty of modifications you can do to make this yours. Um, and make it work for you so all right those pieces are all cut so this is the really quick and easy part of this now <clears throat> excuse me the way I have it measured out and the way I've been doing it with the three inches and the two inches um, it holds two cups I can do a 30 I can do a 20 I can do two 30s two 20s whatever they don't they haven't been touching so that's not an issue but the other reason I'm doing it, it holds two cups and you can do modifications to make it hold more and we can talk about those. And um, if you do, they, they use the standard three quarter inch arms. And the reason I do them primarily holding two at a time and use the lengths that I've given you tonight because you could easily make them longer or shorter. I wouldn't go much shorter, but you could go longer. Um, they perfectly fit on our Dollar Tree cookie sheets that so many of us use. I'm looking around to see if I have one in here, and I don't. I don't have one in here. Um, but they fit perfectly on those cookie sheets if you're somebody who's trying to keep your glitter uh, or whatever contained. So um, just to sort of recap again, because it looks like we've maybe had a couple people hop on. Four pieces at two inches long. Four PVC slip caps, four T's, or three ways, or some of the hardware stores call them three ways. I think it's Ace that calls them a three way. One three inch piece, and two one and a half inch pieces. So now it gets really, really simple. We're gonna take the three inch piece of our T's. We're gonna slip it in, make sure it's pressed in firmly. Slip it in. Okay, you wanna make sure that they're more or less facing the same direction, both facing up, but you'll have <clears throat> time to modify because we have not PVC glued these. If you feel inside your T as you're pressing it in, you will feel where there's a ridge. You do not have to go all the way to that ridge. It's tempting to be like, oh, I'm not all the way to the middle. It's not gonna always hit all the way in the middle, that's fine. You just can't go any further past that middle or you're impacting the other, getting a seal on the other side. Um, so we've got our three inch and two of our T's. Uh-oh, we're frozen. Are we still frozen? Let's see. We 
if we do this? Hmm. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So let me see if I can figure out why we're still frozen. It says active. Everything should be good. This is picking it up. Are we still frozen? I forget that there's like a minute delay. Let's see what happens if I do this. <clears throat> Bear with me just a second. Let me try this. How about now? Are we back? Are we back on track now? It looks on my end like it's back on track. So tell me if we're not. Keep in mind there's about a minute delay from what I see to what you see. I'm gonna make a comment on here. It should be back up. All right, we should be back up. So let me know if we're still frozen to any of you. I just made a comment too. But it looks like we're back. Um, Kim said yes. I'm seeing it on my, I've got my laptop open and I'm seeing it. I'm going to keep going and hope we're good. Okay, so we've got our three inch length with two T's on it um, so far. And then, um, that's as far as we've gotten so far. We're going to keep going from here and hope you guys, it catches you back up. I'm going to take my short little one and a half inch pieces. There's the other one. My short little one and a half inch pieces and connect it to the other side of each of these tees. And they should just snap right in. I'm just checking the measurements because I do have some, I have caddies of extra pieces. So I'm always trying to check. Okay. So now we've got um, one and a half inch pieces on each side. So it's one and a half T, three T, one and a half. Um, and the other T's are going to go perpendicular. So these should be perpendicular to the rest of it. These are going to become our legs. So... This is where it's going to help sort of level itself out and make sure that you're really super smooth. Um, you're going to go ahead and put your two inch pieces on each of these corners. These should snap right in. Um, I am using two different brands because I tried to buy some um, wholesale PVC instead of just buying it at Home Depot because I was making so many. And um, just buy it at Home Depot. It works much better. <laughs> it's more consistent. Okay. So now it looks like this. And, or I guess you would use it like this. If you try and lay it down right now, it's going to feel a little wobbly. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I think it's off camera. Let me angle you down just a smidge so you can see that. Why it would, why it's a little wobbly. Oh, let's see. I'm using a different tripod tonight. I am not sure I love it, but I am learning to love it. I'm trying to learn to love it. Um, it's a little bit different, so that's better. You can see the table now. Okay, so yeah, we're doing um, PVC drying racks, or I guess you could call them cup holders. Yeah, same idea. So see, it's a little wobbly at this point. It's still, but when we put these, this is because if you look at it from this angle, you can see that like where the foot is or the leg is and then the PVC cap don't quite line up, right? Or the PVC T. So we're gonna put these caps on which are gonna make it the same width as your T. So once you put all four, you're putting your caps on these two inch pieces that are sticking out. Um, 
And then now when you set it on your table or your surface, you can kind of twist a little bit and make sure you've got everything the way you want it. Now, this setup as it is right now, super basic, super simple. There's quite a few versions out there that are much more complex. They use another piece of PVC and they use a coupler and they use all these different pieces. If what you're using as your arm is like this or like this with a football on the end, um, which I don't, hold on, I think I do have one with a football within reach. A football that my kids bit a chunk out of, but that's okay. If your wands look like this and are the basic football wands, then this is all you need. You don't need a coupler and all those other pieces that these ones online use. It's going to fit right in. And you're good, right? Um, you could PVC glue all this together if you really want to, um, to keep it all super tight. I don't. Um, I don't because from time to time I will make this into a three or I might take this off and make it just a single depending on what I'm doing <clears throat> and how much space I have. Now, if you have the football wands that are threaded, meaning they have the grip and they screw into your turner, right? You will want to add onto this another one and a half inch piece in each of these sections and a coupler. And your coupler is going to be a slip to threaded. So it is probably gonna be a slip to female because these are most likely threaded as male so that they screw in and not screw on. Um, so if your arms are threaded, then you will need to add another inch and a half on each of these and another coupler on each of these. Or you could get the T's that are slip to slip to thread it. So they make some where one piece of this T is threaded. So they make some that look just like this, except this one is a threaded instead of a slip. If your arms are threaded, then get the ones that are threaded and save yourself having to add an extra piece. They're a little bit more expensive. They're not terrible. The problem is if you're making them yourselves, threading PVC is not something you can do very easily. It requires a special tool. It requires heat. It requires, it's just not like, it's not like you can just cut it with the cutters that we used and have it be threaded, right? This is gonna give you a smooth, so we use the slips. But if your arms are threaded and screw onto your turner, then get the T that is threaded on the one end. Don't get one that all three are threaded because then you're gonna have to thread your little tiny two inch pieces that are forming your legs, right? Or your three inch and your inch and a half that are going beside it. Easiest way to do it, if your arms are threaded, switch out two of these T's for the threaded, keep the other two slip all three ways. Then what you would do, you would leave these as all slip and you would use slip, slip, thread on these two pieces. Does that make sense? Now, if you use, if you go back and forth and you have some arms that are three quarter inch and some that are half inch, you can get another PVC piece and I usually have them with me and I don't have any tonight um, because I used them and shipped them out to be perfectly honest. Um, that's called a reducer and it would be a three quarter to half inch reducer. And then you would put your, you'd have to use another inch and a half piece of PVC. Then you'd put your reducer on 
to the three quarter inch PVC and then your half inch arm would stick in it the same way the three quarter inch arm sticks in here. Just another option. Um, say you want to turn yours into a three, right? I started with two. Two is a pretty standard number. It gives you some room for them to be drying, glittering, whatever. Um, and it fits, as I mentioned earlier, fits on your Dollar Tree cookie sheet um, that so many of us use. But if you wanted to make it three cups, you would just add an additional three inch piece and an additional T. Put your leg back on the end. Straighten it back up. Now you've got three slots. One, two, three. So this is the reason I personally don't like to glue my PVC. You can use PVC cement if you really want to, if it makes you feel better to have it all secure. If you were doing it on your actual turner out of PVC, then yes, PVC cement would be necessary. Um, but this, it's okay to be able to take apart and reconfigure. Like, sometimes you may need three slots where you spray paint. I spray paint out in my garage. Sometimes I need three cups drying from spray paint. Sometimes I need to take this extra one off and I need it to only be two because I need to use the third one somewhere else or whatever. So I don't like to PVC glue it. On top of that, don't waste your money because super glue from Dollar Tree holds PVC together at least as well. If it out I even soaked it in acetone okay I tried everything it still is in there together so don't waste your money on the purple PVC cement you're not running water through this the primary reason people use it is when they're using PVC for plumbing to make sure it can hold up to the water pressure you're not running water through it if it makes you feel better to have it secure throw some super glue on it um, so just to take this back down to exactly what we had on the parts list for tonight and I will pop that back up just in case um, anybody wants to see that again um, this is it so you've got two slots four legs wham bam it sits there all set so um, does anybody have any other questions on this? Because if not, that's really all there is to this. This was a short video, but there's just, they're simple. It's very simple. But I know a lot of people have been asking about how to make drying racks and how to, um, you know, you've glittered a cup and you want somewhere to put it while you wait to epoxy it or whatever. These are great. Um, I also use them when I spray paint, right? So I will spray paint on this, then put it in, and we're done. Um, I just realized I'm backwards on this as well, so my apologies. Um, I don't think I should do anything with words that would have mattered. So, um, Are there any other questions on this? Because it's pretty simple. But it's something that you can use a lot. Um, you can use it, again, I have it, I have some outside in my garage from when I spray paint. I will bring it inside when I glitter, because I might glitter multiple cups at once. Glitter it, stick it on, move on. Um, you know, wood grain on it, seal it, whatever. Um, spray it whole nine yards. So. And then I have them upstairs too, so that when I take them off of my turners, um, I can stick them on this and let another one go. So it's, 
again, personal preference. It's cheap to make. I bet, um, I have the math, but basically you could do it for like the equivalent of like $4 in PVC parts, not counting the cutters. Um, basically four bucks. So the other thing to think about is like, you know, depending on your setup, do you want one where you spray paint, one where you epoxy? Do you want one wherever you glitter, one where you epoxy? You know, you, you guys know your own setups and know what you need, but they're cheap to make. And the reality is, um, cause I had somebody request one on the website in order to ship one to somebody is going to cost more than the parts to make it. Um, so I had somebody ask about buying one and I was like, well, you could, but by the time I ship it to you, you're going to pay almost as much in shipping as you would for the actual item. Um, so then I said, well, I could just ship you all the parts, but at that point you could go to your local hardware store and get it, um, for the same price or less actually. So, um, so that's all the parts. Feel free to rewatch. Feel free to leave comments. Feel free to ask any other questions if they come up to you or whatever. Um, and, but that's that. Um, PVC, one last comment. Don't buy the furniture grade PVC. Buy Schedule 40 PVC. Don't buy the blue PVC. They have different standards on cap fittings. So, and actually, usually they end up being more expensive, so it's probably a waste. But buy the Schedule 40, either the 400 PSI or the 200 PSI. That doesn't matter. You just want standard Schedule 40 PVC. Um, and any hardware store is going to tell you that. Um, it's going to sell it. And so, to be honest, I... Most hardware stores now have where you can buy just a two foot length of it and it's already cut down to two feet and it's in the center aisle and it's in a little caddy thing and it's real convenient because it's two feet ready to go with you. And they charge down here about 250 for a two foot piece. Turn around, look at the 10 foot lengths that are up on the wall. A 10 foot length of PVC down here Three quarter inch cost me a dollar eighty one. Back up. I get ten feet for a dollar eighty one, but I'm gonna get two feet for two dollars and fifty cents. You wanna know what the difference is? They've already cut it down to a smaller size, and they have taken some acetone. And they've wiped the numbers off. That's it. It's the only differences. I buy them in 10 foot length. If you go to Home Depot and you get somebody nice, really they should do it anyway, they will cut it for you. I have them cut it in thirds. It fits in my car nicely. It's 40 inches each. Heads up if you're trying to figure it out, that gives you five 8 inch wands each. That's how I came up with that number. Um, they should cut it for you. I've never had an issue. My husband tried to buy a 10 foot length for me when he was on his way and they gave him a hard time and said they couldn't cut it in store. They have these on the little rack where they have PVC, where they have saws and they have metal grippers and all the other stuff they use to cut the other pipe fittings. They can cut the PVC for you. Um, I have also been known to just take this with me and put it in the car. Point being, it's going to be cheaper for you to buy a 10-foot length of PVC than a 2-foot length of PVC. You can make a lot of these out of 10 feet. It's 120 inches, and you needed 14 to do this. So you can make at least 10 with some left over. No, you can make 9. 10 would be 100. 40 and it's going to give you 120. So you can't quite make 10. You make eight and have some leftover. You can make arms, you can make whatever. You can do a lot of things with PVC. So buy the 10 foot length, 
and save yourself down here it's 70 cents or so uh yeah 69 cents or something cheaper to buy 10 feet than to buy two feet something to think about um and then you just want to get the fittings um so again it's four caps four t's and your length of PVC, and that's all that goes into it. These cutters are great, but you can also do it with a regular saw. Um, PVC is not hard to cut through. It's it's like cutting through plastic. So anyway, um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I sort of have stalled in hopes that somebody would ask a question since there is a good minute delay between what's on the screen and um, what reality. So, since I'm not seeing any other questions, I will probably go ahead and wrap this up unless I see any pop up in the next few minutes. Feel free to go back and watch this replay. Feel free to leave comments if you try it later. Feel free to leave questions if you find it later, tag people, whatever. Um, I will go back and edit this to mention that we're no longer live in a few minutes and then um, also, we've got some hashtags in there. We've got hashtag tutorial and hashtag Turner build. This is just a way to try and make it easier for you guys to find these videos later on. So search the group for those hashtags and it should help you find and the stuff faster. So um, I'm not seeing any other questions. So with that, I'm going to call it a night. Um, tell us what you want to see next. I don't know if there's any interest in doing the cradles. We can do those. They are more costly than these but um, I have done them. Um, we can, we've done a couple videos on football arms, but if you wanna make football arms, we can do that. Um, you know, you guys tell us what else you wanna see, but otherwise we're gonna call it a night. And I don't know how I managed to spend almost 40 minutes on this because this literally can be put together in about two. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night since I don't see any other questions. Everyone have a good night.